Hello and welcome back to another video. Today here again on Forza Horizon 5 to take a look at another brand new vehicle added to the Forza series, which is this Hot Wheels Pontiac Trans Am. This Trans Am is another Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner, which we already have several of in the game. You might remember the Hot Wheels car pack in Forza Horizon 4. Those were all previous winners. But if you're unfamiliar with what it is, basically each year there's a competition where people enter their mad one-off car build projects for the chance to be made into a real Hot Wheels model car. Um, and this Trans Am was the winner of that competition in 2020. Like I say, the ones in the car pack in Horizon 4 were winners of some different years. Basically, to make this particular one, they took a Trans Am, threw most of it away, and then built a tubular chassis, um, connected a highly modified 6.5 litre V8 to it, giving it over 1,000 horsepower, and then strapped what was left of the Trans Am over the top of it. It still weighs over 1,400 kilos, mostly because of that huge engine, I think, and it's still rear-wheel drive, so it's a bit of a terrifying death trap to drive. The most annoying thing, though, is the four-speed gearbox, meaning you're immediately hitting the limiter in top gear, and therefore limiting the top speed horrendously. Here in Forza, all of that means it starts near the top of S1 class at 894 PI. In terms of customization and upgrades, as you might expect, there aren't many options. For example, painting only has, well, one manufacturer colour, and although it shows advanced paint groups, they're a bit useless, really. The main one is, well, most of it, and group two is, well, it's the window banner. Um, I mean, it looks kind of cool, but I'm not really sure why that's uh, how the groups are split. So, yeah, not many options there. Similarly, when we move over to the upgrade shop, there are no visual mods, as you might expect, because, well, it already looks like that, to be fair. Um, there are no engine swaps either, but you can all-wheel drive swap it, which puts it into S2 class. Um, twin turbo it, or supercharge it. Not sure why you'd do any of those, it already has ridiculous amounts of power. You can change the tyre compound, um, it appears to be on slicks from standard, because if you put it on semi-slicks, the PI drops. So I'm pretty sure, although these have the sort of unique text, they're just the normal Forza slicks. Um, you can, of course, make the tyres wider as well, and bring out your track width. Um, but yeah, there's really minimal upgrades for this. There's your usual gearbox, driveline and diff, um, and there will be some handling upgrades for brakes and suspension. Um, but yeah, no engine swaps, no power increases, um, apart from adding a turbo. Um, so yeah, really not that much, as you'd expect from a kind of already modified vehicle like this. As this car is quite heavy and starts near the top of S1, none of us really fancied racing it in Horizon Open, so instead we did a one-make race with them around the Horizon Mexico circuit. Why is this car actually quite good? That was up. I was expecting it to be a complete death trap. It is still a little bit smart at that checkpoint. Oh no. Sorry. I've done a murder. I don't know how we didn't have contact around that corner. Yeah. I can tell you it does not like this vehicle. What? I can tell you do not like this vehicle. I think it's excellent. Well, it's a little bit of concentrating, but it's excellent. A wall. Did you say camel or wall? Wall. <laughs> oh, it was <just> camel. <laughs> we've already... Yeah, we've already, uh, scorched my hearing these <laughs> Oh, no. 
Can you imagine if someone hurt, said, I brought a camel, and then they heard, no, I brought a wall, and they heard it, so I brought a camel, or the other way around. <laughs> you just, you just... I think buy a camel or a wall. So you think the one in the next picture might be something else? <laughs> yeah, no, because there's three cars to the right, which were the GM. It might just be a regular right. Toyota to Hiace, man. And that is going to do it for a very first look at the Hot Wheels Trans Am here in Forza Horizon 5. Another cool, interesting, and very different, if quite mad, addition to the game, which I love that they're adding. Um, the only thing is with these sort of pre-modified things, there's then not a lot you can do with it to kind of personalise it and make it your own. Um, it starts near the top of S1, but is very heavy and very slidey, so it's unlikely to make for a good car for anything, which is why we just sort of raced them stock, which was a lot of fun, and there wasn't really that many upgrades anyway to give you many options for upgrading it for anything. But yeah, it is a cool thing to have and a cool car to kind of mess about with, although there aren't very many options for it. So I would recommend going and getting it if you haven't already. It is quite different to a lot of the things we've seen lately. Um, but yeah, for a very first look at this car, that is going to be all. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next video very soon. Mm -hmm.